this lesson is for Monday, the 18th of January. Good morning, cherry tree. Good morning, Miss Stevenson and Mrs. Howes. Good morning, everyone. I have got a special message and it's from this guy here. He's told me he wanted to say something to everybody. Miss Bear, what did you want to say? He's been so impressed by all of your amazing maths. He says he thinks it might sometimes be trickier doing work at home. And the children are not giving up. You're still working really, really hard. He wishes he could choose all of you to sit with. Of course. He looks forward to having a hug from everyone really soon. Oh, listening there. Yeah, I agree with him. You are all being so amazing. Let's start our maths. Okay, we are going to start with some counting as always. We could count with this number line. We could count with this 100 square. And I love this 100 square because it's actually 200 square. Look at that, it goes up. Ooh goes up to 200. Today we're going to use this one. This is another 100 square and 100 square is called 100 square because it's got all the numbers up to 100. And I like this one. I don't like it because it doesn't go over 100, but I do like it because of the colours. So when I look at this, I can see here that all of the numbers that are in tens, my tens, are all purple. So it's really easy for me to see. Oh, Look at these patterns. Here's my number one. What's underneath number one? 11, one ten and one one. What's underneath that? 21, two tens and one one. Can anyone see a pattern here? What's under that? Three tens and one one. Huh, hang on a minute. I wonder if I cover up all of my tens. <gasps> Look, they all end in the number one. One, 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 one. That is why I like maths. There's so many patterns, it's so cool. What about if I covered up my ones? Whoa. Zero, one ten, two tens, three tens. Can you join in with me? Zero, one ten, two tens, three tens, four tens. Five tens, six tens, seven tens, eight tens, nine tens. Wow. We're going to do some more work exploring these kinds of patterns, but let's crack straight on. Our key vocabulary today is add, count on, which we're actually not doing today, but it's still good and useful for adding. Number bonds, patterns, we've already used that, haven't we? equals and balance, that means the same thing, and biggest number. Now, last week, you played this game on Friday and I was so impressed by how everyone got on. Well done for coming up with your own rules. I loved seeing you go into mines. Um, I have think, I thought it was absolutely fantastic and we're gonna keep playing that. I encourage you to play that again today. It's always good to practice our number bonds, Practice our adding and quick recall. And what that means is I want all of you by the end of year one to be able to say the answers to these super fast. If at the moment you're still working out things like double four, that's okay. We're still learning, that's absolutely fine. And practicing is what makes us experts. Remember when I was five years old or six years old, would I have been able to answer any of these? No way, super duper hard. I didn't know my numbers yet. Does that mean I wasn't clever? No, it just meant I was still learning. That's okay, all right? But do play again because it'll help you get better. So we've been adding using our number bonds. Here's one that we did last week. We worked out two add five equals seven. So then I was able to apply that knowledge, use that fact, to work out a bigger sum, 12, add five equals 
17. We use these number bonds to add. Here I worked out one add seven equals eight, we worked out. So that means that 11, turn on one makes 11, add seven equals 18. And then some of you even did some patterns using these bar models. You thought about what the whole number is, and you thought if we've got two part parts, what they make when they come together into the whole, and how we could use that fact to find out even more. Some of you did the most incredible carrying on of addition facts. I was like, when I was looking at your work. So look, here's one that I started here. Look at all these numbers getting bigger and bigger. Six, 16, 26, 36, 46, 56. It's just like before when we were counting. Look, the zero tens, one ten, two tens, three tens, four tens, five tens, and the pattern, we can use the pattern to help us. Some of you use these, well, actually everyone did, these amazing, you did amazing work using the whole part part models. Some of you did adding with counting on like this. In fact, nearly everyone did. And look at this, oh my gosh. It's a lot of information on one piece of um, paper. So let's have a look at this one. So here is my whole part part model. Here's another one. And I've got Numicon, that's a lot going on. Okay, let's have a look at this. How many reds are there? One, two, three, four, four. So my first part is four. My other part, the yellow part, one, two, was two. Part two. And I can see that four Add two equals one, two, three, four, five, six. Or I could just say four, five, six, six. So my whole was six. And I can prove it. I like to prove it, prove it. We like to prove it, prove it. We like to prove it. How embarrassing. Anyway, luckily I have a very high embarrassment threshold. Here's my four, my first part. If I put it together with my two, my other part can see that it makes six. Da, 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 da. You did fantastically. Today, this is what we're doing. We're going to be using all of the learning that we've done so far, and we're doing it in a tiny, slightly different way. I've put up different kinds of pictures. If you want to use your Numicon to solve these, absolutely do. It would be brilliant to do it that way. And while you're doing that, use these pictures as well. So today, we're going to use our number bonds still to add. We're going to read our numbers to find out what we need to add. You can read the pictures and read these numbers, the numerals. And we're going to use our number bonds. So the first one here, it's a little bit tiddly. I'm going to make it bigger. The first one here, how many reds are there? One, two, three, three. How many yellows are there? One, two, three. Three. So I can see that my part, part, three, three, added together equals a whole of one, two, three, four, five, six. I can write that answer there. If I added another 10, here's my 10 frame again, to my three. So now I've got, well, let's just double check it. It's good to double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Add three. One, two, three, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Add three yellows. Well, I know that three add three equals six. So what will thirteen add three equals? You can count if you want to or use your number bonds. This is the work for today. Then I've made it slightly trickier. This is the blue level of challenge and the purple level of challenge using your number bonds. Can you draw your own number bonds to help you solve these? So here we've got five at two. So you can choose your own two colors. I would probably choose, well, you know I love blue and probably yellow. 
I would draw five blue dots. One, two, three, five. And two yellow dots. One, two. What do they, what's the hole when they're added together? Five add two equals. Then can you carry on and apply that knowledge to if there was an extra 10 and it was 15 add two, just like you've been doing last week, we've got this. Can you solve all of these? The red level of challenge today is starting off doing the same thing. But I want you to really push yourselves to find bigger numbers. So I've started off the pattern on each of these. I want you to see what else you can work out using this fact. How far are you gonna go? Very exciting. If you want to push yourself further, the orange level of challenge today is, well, I would really like all of everyone to think about this a little bit, but you could write it if you're doing the orange level of challenge. What do you notice about the pattern? What happens to the ones in each number? For the grown-ups, the ones is the unit. What happens to the tens in each number? Can you explain it? Tricky stuff. Try and use our key vocabulary. Can you then, I've got an even further challenge because I thought, well, you know what? I can imagine some of you thinking I can do that, Miss Stevenson. Can you make up your own problems using your number bonds? So I've started some off you. Could you do your own completely? I can't wait to see how you get on. Fantastic job, mathematicians.